Yeah. 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 So, so I think it's always useful to just talk about the tree. So we have we have M9 rootstock, and this looks like a gala from Tommy. Yeah. Uh, we have what have we got? We've just been a heading cut here, and we see, we see that it looks like it. Is it? Yeah. So we see the response. Um, we have two strong upright branches. This really has to be our leader, it's the dominant one. And because of the heading cut, that upright shoot is very narrow angle. <laughs> we can't do anything with this. That's where in, in the summertime we could have, we could have cut that back and got some regrowth, and w which we could keep. But now it's too big, it's almost competing with the leader. We're going to have to remove that. But hang on, let's, let's wait. <laughs> well, yeah. It's good to see yeah, you're yeah. so keen, yeah. sir. <laughs> uh, so this is the diagnosis, the talking about it part, right? We, uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got a, a couple of branches that are quite low, especially this one. If we were to tie those down, that it would be too low. So we have, we have to make a decision about what we do with this. This one here is, is quite low in vigour now, developing lots of spurs. It's not going to grow very much. We, even though it's very low, we could consider keeping that. But remember I said that it, we need to look at the, the biggest issues first, the biggest, most important things. And we look here. So again, that may have been a response of the heading cut or not, doesn't matter. The point is that we have another narrow angle, we have an upright branch, competing with the main leader, yes, and the diameter of this is very close to, to the leader. So if, if I would sort to say to you, you have to prune this tree with one cut, it's a strong hint, isn't it? That, that actually, you could just remove that and move on to the next tree. Or in fact, remove this and remove this, and you are finished with the pruning. And this one No. Well, that, that's a 50-50 one. No. I, um, yeah. No, no. No, no. That's good. And we can cut it. Uh, what, so what we don't like, we don't like to head back into upright wood because that's going to create vegetative unhealthy shoots. Really, and what we would say is in or out. That you really have to make a decision. You're going to keep this, it will, and it will carry some fruit. These are good spurs here, and if there's enough fruit on there, the weight of the fruit might just bring this branch down to here. And then it'll start to look more like this one. And, and then maybe you can, if it's below horizontal and not grown, then you can, next year. Next, next that's year. exactly it. You can shorten it back next year. So you, so that becomes part of your thinking. And we can provide support also. Up here, from up here, yes. we can tie this branch. Yes. So, so I think, but, but again, so we, we've, we've gone from a, this, we've converted a, a tree into a multi-leader back here, but I, I think we've agreed. This is this one, then you'll see. All right. Yeah, and that's right. And that's, so would you like to use? You want Body a real man? It's a little bit uh, rusty. You could come in this way. So I'd say, can you stop again? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. 
Are you, you just want to be coming in this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Should always be sharp. Clean cut. So one cut, this tree now looks very different. So this branch here is quite strong. Maybe it had mildew. That could be tied down and, and become a good branch in this space. And if we were going to tie it down, there is a risk it would break because that's quite narrow. So we'd want to stretch it first. So then it hopefully wouldn't break on us. And now it can be tied there. if you want regrowth, yeah. you leave a, a stub. Oh, no. If you don't want regrowth, you cut it as flush as you can. Does it have so, any relation with canker? Canker? Or uh, healing process not, rather than yeah. you can see. Yeah, I, th I think the longer the stub, maybe the, the more, no, I, maybe there's a more chance of infection, but I'm not sure there's a very clear relationship between but Jack, the length of the stub. Main, our main stem will be saved there. If yes. we have a stub for yes. cutting, yes. our main stem will be saved there. Yes. <coughs> yes. From yes. canker. The canker will come on the stub only. Oh, okay. And it will not infect the more the stub. We don't want any canker. High incidence of the canker. Yeah. Yeah. You do not have, but here. Yeah. cut will yeah. be there, lesser canker will be there. Yes, I think Longer so. Longer the stub, more canker will come. That's what yes. I think. That's yes, a, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Thank you. So, so there's another another, another solution here. <laughs> <laughs> so your other option here because we want to we've already we've already done quite a lot of pruning what you could do is direct that branch sorry over there now we get to keep it and it it, it might be good for two or three years you know, we have it's a good branch, so that's a compromise. Or if you want this tree to look pretty, better, then you, you'll remove it. It's up to you. Uh, well, we, we could notch here to stimulate branches, but in a way, it's it's not too bad. It's one, two, three, system four, four, five, six, seven. We have se what we like to say is for every meter, we want eight or nine branches. So we actually have enough branches here. It's okay. So we have, we have some labels that we can put on. Maybe if we come back tomorrow and even make that some more pruning, we can put some permanent labels. Yeah. Oh, you have done it was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do you, One made question. It, you made it look so easy. <laughs> One yes. question. Yes. Although this uh, galas, uh, granny, and all polynesian varieties are the purest, and uh, if uh, uh, we have branch like this, 
and it will develop uh, uh, more spots on mm -hmm. the branches. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the flower uh, opening difference is around uh, 20 to 25 days on the pearer and these ones. Yes. And uh, if uh, the fruit set, after the fruit set, when we harvest this fruit, size is more than uh, as compared to this. So, uh, can we go for uh, galas or any granny smith uh, to bear the fruit in this or <coughs> we as a bear? Yeah, that's a very good question. So what what you're saying is absolutely true that this it's it's the spurs on two and three year old wood will grow the biggest fruit, and any fruit that's on well actually the terminal spur that's again like a that's like a spur on the end of a short tube. <coughs> so that that will grow good size apples too, provided we don't have more than two or three per cluster. But you're right that any fruit that sets on one-year-old wood will be small, naturally. It's always going to be 20% smaller. So... Uh, my question is this, yeah. okay, this is the tip bearer, we can, this is the habit of the, the plant, mm -hmm. but <coughs> the, uh, uh, the fruit size and fruit color is uh, um, more in, in the spurs developed on the branches. Yes. Can we uh, uh, go for inducing the spurs on these branches or keep as a uh, tip bearer? In the lateral bearer. Uh, this is the confusing among the farmers community. Right. Well, what? what? Flowering difference, yes. 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 अब ये टिप भी आ रहा है सर अब ये लंबी चले जाएगी कुछ टाइम के बाद ये कंप्लीट इंटरमिंगलिंग है माय कंस्ट्रेंट ऑन हाई डेंसिटी पर प्लांटेशन इज टू कंटेन द साइज ऑफ दीज वैरायटीज तो क्या मैं उसको कट देके इस पर पे लाके रख सकता हूं सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर प्लांटिंग दिस गालास पर्टिकुलरली एज एज द एज ए क्लोज स्पेसिस फॉर एग्जांपल 1 मीटर प्लांट टू प्लांट एंड रो टू रो इज नो प्रॉब्लम Okay, then the his uh, question is: These uh, branches they are growing vigorously and intermingling with the another mm -hmm. plant. Can we curtail the growth of this uh, shoot? I think the short answer to that is no. I mean, gala is a quite a vigorous variety. So, what you have to get right is the spacing. If you put them in too close together, then you haven't given them enough room. To reach the natural what is size? the optimum spacing for this uh, M9 uh, gala on M9? I think it's it depends on the elevation and so no, Particularly if you see mid elevation, for example, in low uh, elevation. Yes. <coughs> this is well, I, th I think it's one and a half one to two and a half meters. Yes. If you put them too close, and then you try and if happen, this is the plant distance, then plant will grow. Yeah. Height. What should be the height? Well, I think the height depends on your ability to harvest the tree. If your land is flat, well, we use ladders, and we will have a, a ten foot high ladder, so we can harvest. 12, 14 feet high tree, no problem. You said 1.5 to 2.5 inches. Yes. No branches are in the tree. At when? This is only 1 meter. Nothing can be done after 3 years of plantation. That is the one answer. I have to cut in the growth of this tree. What can be done? This was my question. With this being a tip bearer, if I will cut it, would it give me good food? Or would it be again going like this? Right. Yeah. Well, I, well, what do you think? If you cut it hard, what's the what's the tree? What's the response? It will sprout. And is that going to help? <coughs> no. That, that's why so, I'm asking. You. Yes. Well. Uh, so so if you you've made a mistake and you planted them too close together, can we? Things like this, for example, initially after planting, the first, uh, then when the shoot will come out, initially go for this tree. Yes. So, if by this way, we can continue the growth of the tree. Yes. I think. 
that's, that is that's right. The right. Yes, this is the right approach in Ghana. No. Yes, yes, it is. And, 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 and these <laughs> these branches they tell us the whole story, don't they? Look at look at. So I mean, we don't think of Gala as a tip bearer. Uh, that's developed lots of spares in two years. That's fine. But. First year, my tip bearer. First year, yeah, yeah. Okay. In older yeah. short, it yeah. will develop this far. No. Sure. So, so maybe to try and answer your question too, Rana. Okay, you, you put them very close together, so you've got to encourage them to fruit, let the crop slow the tree down. So, cutting them is the worst thing you can do. Training all, lots of branches down, developing lots of spurs, carrying a big crop will slow the tree down. That's the answer. And you say that gala is not fit bearer. Well, yeah, in the first year, the terminal spur will, will initially, initially what will happen, Good. it will bear the fruit on the day. When it will bend down, you can see this one. No, 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 it will again grow. Grow, yes. Mm. Otherwise, okay. what should we have done? We should have banked down yes. in the month of July. Well, I would say if, if, if I'd say you go find another job. <laughs> okay, Jack, we'll see. We have no crease in the calves here. We are heading in you know, this one from here and right? we'll see in that case. Okay. okay. Yeah, all right. Sort of plan. Oh, and we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. what will happen? <laughs> So right, okay, I think we'll we'll come back next year. And it'll look like this. Something like this. Yes, yes, definitely. Right? It will be like which is grown. Yes. That's it. Is, do we wonder which is grown? Is that, like is that grown. gonna help us? <laughs> I've seen. <coughs> yes. It's because it's vigorous variety, you know. It That's right. Give, ah, it will give like this. Yes. It's just per variety. It's just me. Chal sakta. Vigorous me to ek dum dega na. Aayega. 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 So if there is no rush, then which is it? Okay, but just one more thing. No branch, no. Oh, what's the paper cut? So no branch. Ah, yeah. So which one is the one? 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 Which one is the one